I can't believe that I haven't been on Instagram Live for I don't know how long and I still haven't made a feature where you can read the comments when your phone is on the side. Very upsetting. I have to be so close to do this. I thought you were going to join it. Like, I don't know how to do that. Oh, I didn't even know how that works. What? Asad, shut up. How are y'all? What's the tea? What y'all doing? <clears throat> I'm here in Australia. <clears throat> oh, fuck. <clears throat> that tap water is actually good. What's that? <clears throat> uh, can you get me some of that water? But can you, like, make one of those, like, little vitamin C thingies? Yeah. Thank you so much, babe. All right, sorry, y'all. I told Ty to read me the comments so y'all can ask me questions on real time, but he thought that meant to sign into my Instagram from his phone and then try to start another live video. Baby girl, that was not the routine. I'm painting. I'm in, where are we at? <clears throat> I'm in Brisbane, as they would say. Oh, bitch, I got a blend of shit. Mm-hmm. How do I draw a line? Start live. I'm doing it for <clears throat> my So we're here to spill tea tonight. Add guests to my live. No, you don't have to join my live. You just go watch my live as a viewer and read the comments. I'm in. so dumb. Yeah, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <clears throat> like I was saying, bitch, we up in motherfucking <clears throat> in Brisbane. I'm losing my voice. Mute that, please. What's poppin'? How y'all doing? <clears throat> no, I know y'all got questions. We're here to spill the tea today. Or as Ty would say, I don't know how to shut up. <laughs> I don't know how to mute the question. You just turned the volume on your phone down? Oh. Jesus Christ, you really are a rare breed. At least today. Yes. <clears throat> But like I was saying, <clears throat> I know y'all got questions. Someone said, come to the cell. So Tyra's going to read me some questions while I sit here and, <clears throat> and paint with my uneven brows. Someone asked, how do you feel about Ben leaving? <clears throat> how do I feel about Ben leaving? Mm-hmm. Also, someone said, be nice to your boyfriend, and I would second that. Both of y'all can fuck yourselves. Bears. <clears throat> Just kidding. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, Ben Delacram, um, go for her. <clears throat> I thought it was really iconic. I thought it was lit. She living her best life. I'm just like, yo, my live your fucking truth. What's up? <clears throat> I don't think she staged. Oh my god, what is it? What the fuck? It's Babe, why is this hot? The water is lukewarm. They don't got cold water? Oh my god. <sighs> Am I that annoying to you? No. <clears throat> You're being really mean to me on live. I'm not being mean to you. I just wanted to know why the hell the water is so fucking hot. Is it cool now? Yeah, Bitch is just trying to give me hot water. <clears throat> Shit. <clears throat> Um, no, somebody said Ben de la Creme was staged, the exit. No, it was not staged. That was not planned. Um, uh, girl, we was just there. I was shocked.com, shocked out boots, shocked out dot, 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 what is happening? <clears throat> Bitch, I was really fucking confused. I was like, what the fuck? <clears throat> Which I didn't get to see is that actually when Ben had eliminated herself, I had uh, stole my phone back and I called the police. Because I was very upset and I needed some emotional healing. I ain't gonna get any better than this. 
Oh, it's not that my eyebrows are uneven. It's that I can't move this side. Hold on. Someone said... Work. What? Go ahead, baby. Someone said, where's your EP? Y'all, my EP is coming out soon. Stay tuned. We have a hard release date. We're still working on it. <clears throat> but I wanted to drop a little bit for y'all, which is why... Uh, we released Finish Her. I had a lot of fun doing that video and making that song. Uh, shout out to Accident Report and uh, Marty, who, who I guess his stage name is WWNR. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, look, Raven, I'm contouring my jaw, bitch. Fucking bald headed bitch. <clears throat> In season 10, I'm rooting for... Okay, let's be real. I know that everybody be reading Reddit and everybody got their favorites and all this bullshit. But all I gotta say is that I live for Miss Vanessa. Like, it's, it's, that's not a popular opinion. But I live for her personality. And she's so, like, full of life. And she's so bangy and stupid. Like, she may not be like, <clears throat> oh my god, like, you know, fan fave of all the skinny white twinks. But she... To me, she's everything. Like, she's just hilarious. Like, those are the girls who really make it. Like, after Drag Race. It's not the girls who, you know, are gorgeous and pretty. Because they make it too. But, you know, beauty fades, bitch. But it's girls with those loud personalities and, like, extraness that really, like, turn the party after Drag Race. So I love I love Vanessa's personality. My favorite promo picture was Monet. She looks so cunt. Ma, let me tell you. I was sitting there like, damn bitch. Over here storming the girls with those titties. She looked like she was ready to breastfeed. <clears throat> BB, whenever you're ready. What? You still there? By the way, I'm answering anything, so feel free. Someone said, Assad said Cameroon. Fuck off, Assad. Um, ooh, this one's a heated one. Uh, thoughts about what RuPaul said today? <clears throat> um, I think, uh, my thoughts on the whole RuPaul, uh, and... Uh, I'm assuming it's the tra what the trans people being allowed on drag wrestling. Yeah, I don't agree with him. Everyone's entitled to their to their own opinion. I think that, unfortunately, that's not a great opinion. And <clears throat> I don't. I'm not on the same page. I think trans women are very much uh, drag just as much drag queens. Y'all, my face is lukewarm. Maybe I'm scared. What? I'm scared to taste it. It looks so nasty. Babe. What? Huh? Yeah, I'll just have some when we get to the to the bar. I'll, I'll have some water right there. It's just a little... Um, we stealing a bunch of waters. Uh, <clears throat> bam. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the, that th that that statement. I feel like trans women should be allowed to do drag, and I feel like trans women who do drag, uh, you know, are very important to our community to diversify it. And also, uh, I think that some of my favorite queens are trans queens, and that's just the tea. I love, I love me some trans women. Hassan Morgan Boo said, Are you a woman? Obviously, I'm a woman. I'm a woman of wealth. Um, Andy Hoven, Hoven wants mm -hmm. to know which has been your favorite Australian city? 
My favorite Australian city was... <clears throat> so far, I guess Sydney, because it's the only one I really got to explore. Because it's the only one I had time to explore. But, uh... Melbourne had nice weather. <clears throat> uh, and I've been enjoying so far today... Um, where are we? Brisbane. Bitch, I'm feeling cut. <clears throat> Someone wants to know. Put the cookie in the cookie jar. Mm -hmm. There's this little nose I did today, bitch. I live for her. She's fucking storming the girls. You can't even tell her nothing. On Aquaria. I've known Aquaria for a long... Aquaria. You hear me? The Australia is rubbing off on me. Australia. <clears throat> Aquaria. Me. Aquaria. Uh, I live for Aquaria. I've known her for a long time. I've known that bitch since she was like fucking... A zygote. <clears throat> um, I'll say this. In terms of drag... I feel like Aquaria has just been... Has always been like a perfect like drag queen. Uh, in terms of, like, her style, her makeup, <clears throat> and all that jazz. Um, I don't really have much to say about her. I love Aquarius. She's really cool. I was a little weirded out by uh, her robotic presences on the Meet the Queens and stuff, but, girl, when you're in front of a camera, sometimes things just translate differently. Like, I tell people, like, you can't judge people based on what you see on TV or what you see on these Meet the Queens because some of these bitches <clears throat> are way different in person. When are you in San Francisco, <clears throat> someone asked. <clears throat> I'm going to be in San Francisco on uh, June 4th. First. <clears throat> June 1st. Right after Brazil? Yeah, that'll be after Brazil. Um, Babe, when do we go to Brazil? Uh, May 25th and 6th. When is your graduation? The weekend before. Before? <clears throat> so we'll be fine. Yeah. Someone says... Oh, Gio, boo, you're right. It's the second. It's June 2nd. Ooh, my favorite breakfast, bitch. I love eggs. I love pancakes. I love waffles. I'm a breakfast, bitch. Someone also wants to know your favorite video game. <clears throat> my favorite video game? Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of favorite video games. I I'm just like a Pokemon girl. Let me tell you, I've been trying to play uh, Ultra, Ultra Moon since like November. When it first came out, me and Pheromone bought them together. Bitch. I pick my starter, and I've traveled to every city with my DS. And when have I played it? No. Hardly ever. I'm so busy. <laughs> Guess who asked this question? What's your favorite fruit from Yum's Chinese? Antonio? Bitch, my beard is definitely peeking through. Someone said, who's your favorite drag race winner? <clears throat> um, I don't know, honestly. I don't, ha oh, actually, my favorite, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite drag race winner. But everybody knows I stand by Lachachki, so. I love Violet Lachachki, I think she's perfect. I love porn. Whoa. <clears throat> I didn't say all that, but work. She's a really good role. 
She definitely jerked off in the video. Nina Flowers. Uh, and this has nothing to do with personally against BB because I love BB. I think BB is a very talented queen. I really thought Nina was going to win uh, the first season of All Stars, though. But, like, I get it. <clears throat> At the time, uh, BB was very much more marketable to the people who didn't know drag. But I think to the those of us who were very much faggots already. We were very invested in the arts. Um, I'm also just like a like more on the punk spectrum. Like I love glamour, I love edginess, and I love beauty. But <clears throat> I don't know. I just really lived for Nina Flowers. Now Nina Flowers and All Stars One. That's a different story. Love her though. I live from Manila. She a kooky bitch. I kind of want to bake cookies with her. Someone asked, what's your favorite TV show? Ma, I don't watch TV. If I did... Only TV show I actually watch is like Drag Race. Someone said, "What are your thoughts?" Or no, if you could have been on any season other than your own of Drag Race, which would you choose? <clears throat> you know, I was gonna say season three because I love the design challenges, but clearly I have never excelled in a in a design challenge. From a production standpoint. So. I don't even fucking know. I would love. I would have loved to be on season five. Just so I can get read by Alyssa. <clears throat> Pretty much. Someone said. What are your thoughts on. The Trixie and Katya show. And follow-up question, are you mad at Trixie? Why are they mad at Trixie? I'm not sure. I don't really have any thoughts on the Trixie and Katya show because I don't watch TV, so I really haven't had the time to see it. I really do not even have a television. Oh, I would love to do another TV show, girl. Any television show is a is a is a platform, bitch. Ready to get out, go in. Sometimes I feel like I start talking very southern. You do that job. I don't know where that comes from. Someone said, "When are you coming to Australia?" Bitch, I'm in Australia right now. What's up? What's up? Mar <laughs> Marketing queen. Work, James. Marketing extravaganza. 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 How's the duct tape clutch holding her? Bitch, she's there. She's been on the road with me this whole time. I don't know how she's surviving. I should use that tape to talk. Kidding. Ooh, someone said, would you ever move from Brooklyn to Manhattan? Um, I don't know. I never thought about that. I really have never thought about moving from Brooklyn to Manhattan. Not worth it. <clears throat> Someone said... Oh. Talk about Pablo Vittar. 
I mean, that's not really a question. No, well, they said, do you want to do a feature with her? Yeah, I would love to do a feature with Pablo Vachar. If she's down, I'm down. I would love to make music with that bitch. She's talented. And she's gorge. And she made out with Diplo. Someone asks, who's your favorite Dracula girl? My favorite Dracula girl, um... I live for bitch pudding, honestly. And I love Vander Von Odd. I like a lot of the girls. I like James Majesty. I like, uh... I like all of them. I think those girls are really kind. And they're really showcasing something that, you know, people on Drag Race wouldn't be able to showcase. On Drag Race. Clarify for y'all bitches get me. Someone said, Ariana Grande or Selena Gomez? Ariana Grande, duh. We're still waiting for her fucking album. Dumbass bitch. Take it forever. Someone said, is Candy Muse your best friend? Candy Muse is my best friend. Glitter from last night. Hi, did you just... Oh, I thought you ask a question. No, well, I respond to sometimes when people are like, when are you coming to the city? Just because I have a schedule. Ooh, someone said, would you like to do a WoW Crescent series? Uh, stay tuned. Once I have time to settle down and go to LA for a bit, y'all will get a WoW Crescent series from me. That will happen. We already have a concept. It's going to be very, very that. Is it with... Jaden? No. Someone asked, do you ever regret doing Drag Race? Do I ever regret doing Drag Race? Do I look crazy when I did that? A little. Um... I I don't ever regret doing, regret, regret doing Drag Race. Drag Race has opened up a lot of doors for me. And <clears throat> she's made me a woman of wealth. How do I feel about having to pay money for WoW Presents Plus? I pay for it. I know it sucks, but what is it, like $5 a month? Bitches pay for fucking Netflix, and there ain't shit on there. Oh my god, you have to answer this question. What's your favorite aspect of your boyfriend? My favorite aspect of my boyfriend is when we've been traveling on the road for so long that I start to feel very delusional, and then I look at him and realize that I am safe. <clears throat> no, it's very easy to like kind of lose sense of what's happening when you're on the road. And I'm one of those people that I'm very, like, I have my head on, correct, like, right? Actually, I've been having a really good time with Willem. Willem is so easy to work with. She's really funny. And she's really relatable. I feel like me and Willem are... I feel like me and Willem are very similar. Mm -hmm. It's kind of scary. Um, This question keeps getting brought up a lot. Have you been watching Drag Race Thailand? I haven't caught up with Drag Race Thailand yet. Uh, But... Everything that I have seen has been really kunti kunti. Those girls be turning the motherfucking party. Someone said, how do you choose who you tour with? Oh, uh, you don't <laughs> choose who you tour with, honestly. It's really just like, well, if your manager is, like, a good manager like mine, you know, they'll probably hit you up and be like, hey, do you want to toy with this person? And do you want, you know, they'll be like, do you want to do this? But otherwise, you don't really get to decide. Someone said, do you ever regret doing Drag 
I would love to collab with Adore Delano. I think that would be a very fun time. I wonder how that would come out. Someone said, what is your star sign? I'm a Capricorn bitch. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Ma. Oh, okay, I'm looking for this shit fast. My favorite season five queen. Uh, my favorite season five queen was the drama of season five. Or anybody except for Serena. <laughs> Honestly, the drama in season five was lit. <clears throat> I was re I rewatched sometimes like certain like parts and I just think about like bitch like those girls are so fucking shady. Like, remember when Detox told Jinx, fuck you, you bitch? Why did she say that to her? Or, like, <clears throat> my favorite part of the competition was seeing you in the bottom two. They all were. What about, <clears throat> girl, this is human. That's a shake and go. This is three hundred dollars. That's, That's thirty dollars. <laughs> so, Ruby keeps asking who's your favorite fan. I keep telling her it's not her. Tell Ruby I'm gonna I'm gonna fight her. A lot of people keep bringing up Italy, but like honestly, tell your promoter. That's all I can say. Someone said. Um, next. <laughs> what have you done to your chin? I had done to your chin. Oh, girl, I just put some, some, some pump, some filler in my good old chin. I don't know. I would like to see well, All Stars 4. Um, am I allowed to like include season 10 queens? I don't know who the, who the fuck won season 10. True. Um. Okay. A good... Y'all be nice to Miss James. Y'all be carrying. Um, okay. Who would I like to see? I would love it to be drama pack. I, okay, one, I'm gonna say Angina needs to be on All-Stars All All -Stars 4. She should have been on All-Stars 3. That's one. Uh, let me think. I think... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Angina, literally, just because she's Angina. I think they should bring back Rebecca Glasscock. Like, I know that she is, like, somewhere working at Macy's or some shit, but she should be on All-Stars 4. She was so extra. I lived. Um, I would also like to see. Uh, let me see. Here. <clears throat> I would love to see Sonique. Because yes. Sonique is that bitch. <clears throat> hey, Jiggly, what's Papa says? Actually, I would like to see Jiggly on All Stars. 
Shout out to Jiggly for that album. Yeah, yeah shout out to Jiggly for her new song too. Y'all check out her video, fuck boy. I was like, my, you fucking thotty. I see you, sis. What's good? Uh, who else? Blue, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, as much as we all would love to see Willem on All Stars, uh, y'all know it ain't gonna happen. Um, but she would make some good TV. Um, who else? I would love to see Trinity K. Bonet. I'd love to see Layla McQueen. Shout out. Layla McQueen. I would love to see Layla McQueen. Layla McQueen, so important. So important. I'm trying to think of other girls who are like live for them. What they're doing now. Um... Hmm. The problem with Jaden, do you are fierce? I would like to see Jaden. Oh, absolutely. Um, I would love to see. Uh, I'm trying to think about the girls who haven't been on from other seasons. I want to see. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I think it should. But it won't. The problem is there's too many all-stars. Um, what about... Hmm. Unpopular opinion. What about, um... Who's Miss Thing? I forgot what I was going to say. Stacey I would love to see Mariah. I would like to see Naomi, but Naomi hasn't really like, like, uh, like changed up anything drastically. Like, obviously, she's way more expensive and way more cut now, because that's what TV money will do for you. She got that mold removed though; it was really cancerous. So Wait, really? No, it's not. Uh, but I would love to see Naomi on my TV screen again because she has nice legs. Uh, kimchi. Uh. Yeah. I would love to see Kim Chi, but if we're going to see Kim Chi, I want the 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 runway to take a really big part in the season. Oh my god, April. I would love to see April carry on back. I would love to see Jessica Wilde back. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want Thorgy back again. You said Thorgy? Yeah. That's I not... love Thorgy though. Y'all, my boyfriend's obsessed with Thorgy. Oh, yeah, Gia Gun. Uh, what about from season nine? No, I think not stay home. <laughs> not that. <gasps> Jim Tron said absolutely not. Sorry, Thorge. Suck my ass. I mean, I couldn't see her on another season. <laughs> she would go home first again. <laughs> oh, Thorgy. I love Thorgy. I love Thorgy. Thorgy would walk in and literally, like... <laughs> she would walk in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't got nothing clever to say. She'd just walk in. Oh, my God. Um, Brianna said when Ty stands Thorgy more than you. True. Story of my life. Every time I've ever dated a guy after I started doing drag, they always live for other drag queens more than they live for me. I guess you know what? As a wise poet once said, fuck my drag. Someone said, are there any queens that you would like to see on season 11? <clears throat> there are a few queens I would like to see on season 11. I'm going to start off by saying I would love to see a member of my drag house Amen. on season 11. I feel like... It's time. I feel like it's time. I feel like, you know, first of all, because I saw some comments on, on Reddit. Who was saying, like, they were talking about Candy, and they were saying, like, Candy is not polished. Girl, what drag queen? Literally, like, 
First of all, Miss Mev Wit, you could suck my fucking whole fucking dick, you fucking dildo licker. That's all. Uh, but I would love to see... I would love to see Candy. Candy gets a lot of flack from some drag racers. And they say, like, uh, does she looks like a pug or, like, a fat Oz or whatever. Let me tell you something. That bitch is funny and y'all will gag. She's also really sweet. She's also... She's just one of those people that you just look at once and you're just like... She's so good. You're just laughing. I've never met somebody who really met Candy and got to know her and did not fall in love with Candy, so... So I know that if Candy were to ever get on Drag Race, like, she would literally, like, everybody in the world would, like, live. Yes, Team Fat Aja. Work. <clears throat> um, Tell Goonicorn to, um, not be rude. What they said? Says, is it difficult to talk when your meat is too big? That's my man. You don't even touch my dick. <gasps> Just cause. Wait, what did she say? Okay, diversion. Nova, nobody fucking asked you. This is my fucking live. If you want to go watch a live, go on Candy's live, bitch. The fuck. What did they say? That Candy's makeup is better than mine. I taught her how to do makeup. Go suck a fucking dildo, ho. Stop being fierce. 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 Um, I would like to see Momo on Drag Race, too. Yes, absolutely. Someone said, what's the hottest pub you've ever seen? Me. <laughs> I'll say this, though. Uh, I think if Momo were to go on Drag Race, she would need to be very careful with her temper. Because Momo has the potential to easily top Roxy and Fifi's bitchiest moments ever on Drag Race. I could see that happening. Huh? I said I could see that happening. She wouldn't do it out of, like, being, like, a cunt. It would just happen. If they did a season where there were moms, like, and the daughters, that'd be crazy. But honestly, so, anything that gets me on a TV screen. Not to go back to Candy, but can you address someone saying, Candy literally wears Asha's beat. Can you address that that's part of being in a house? Oh, yes. By the way. So, a lot of people may not understand this because some of y'all are like fucking 12 years old but let me educate y'all if y'all hear y'all listening when you are in a drag house <clears throat> you have a drag mother that teaches you how to do makeup who teaches you how to do stuff whether it be performing for example in the house of edwards they all perform very similarly but have their own different flares uh, the House of Andrews, when, you know, God rest her soul, rest in peace, Erica Andrews. You had Erica Andrews, Tandy Andrews, and you have Roxy Andrews. They all had a signature beat. That was the House of Andrews beat. The House of Aja has the House of Aja face. Now, when people sit there and they're like, oh, we, cop we look alike, we copy each other's makeup. Bitch, no fucking duh. We are a family, right? We have a resemblance. How else the fuck you gonna know it's the House of Oz? And people be like, oh, unique this, unique that. Bitch, ain't nothing not been done. Everything you can think of has been done. A drag queen leaving her house wearing a pig's carcass? Done. A drag queen pulling chicken bones on her asshole? Done. Bitch, I have seen so much fucked up shit in drag. Same way Sharon Needles did not invent pouring blood out your mouth, walking down a runway, it has most likely been done. Did we said Momo's the softest? <clears throat> Momo can be soft, but we ain't talking about who's soft and who's brick. We talking about who got the most premarin in their blood, and that's me. 
Someone said, would you like to tour the House of Edwards? Um, that would be interesting. It would be fun. The show would be seven hours late. Someone said, what are your thoughts on Miss Cracker? She I. I like Miss Cracker. I'm warming up to her. I knew I knew her for years and years and years in New York. When I first met her, honestly, I didn't like that bitch. I thought she white as fuck. But, uh, I really got to, like, hang out. Not really hang out, hang out, but get to work with her more. And I was like, oh, I like her. I'm using Inglow. Inglot, Inglow. I don't know how to say this shit. Right now. I'm doing a rather sloppy application. I'm also a little under the weather. Someone said, do you like Acid Betty? I don't know her like that. I took a photo one time with her at a bar. Of course she did. She was out of drag. And it was also DBL in Hell's Kitchen. It was so random. I once hit Acid Betty up on Grinder for fun. I once hit Acid Betty up in my car for fun. That's a mood. Someone said... Actually, I'm not worried about it. Why was it that bad? No, it's like not. I've replied to 7,000 people about when you're going to be in the UK, so I'm done with that. Okay. Someone said, oh, someone said, tell us how you two met. Do you want to tell a story? No, you drew on the camera. Grinder. Someone also said, put your boyfriend in drag. I would love to, but... One thing about me is that I don't. I used to love putting other people in drag. Now I don't. Sure. Do you think I'm Brit? No, not at all. Work. Someone said. So what are your thoughts about me? I like her. I've met her a few times, and I uh, I think I did a gig with her. Uh, she's really cool, really easy. Um, I was very curious as to why she's wearing two belts in the promo. That's my opinion. Uh, but those belts were very interesting, to say the least. Jiggly wants to know, what's your favorite song to perform of all time? My favorite song to perform of all time... Babe, can you ask me a tissue? My favorite song to perform of all time... It's so hard because, like, honestly, like, I don't like to repeat doing songs. Because, like, sometimes, like, I'll be feeling a song for, like, a day. And then, like, I'll be like, oh, like, I don't really live for this song anymore. But, um, my favorite songs are between, uh... I don't know, my favorite songs will always be, like, Just Say by Tanache and KDA, uh, and Treat Me Like Fire by Lion Babe. And then, uh, I guess, like, some Grimes comes in in, like, a close third. Kill Me Mame is cool. But I won't do it unless, like, I haven't had a gig in, like, a week or something, because that should take a lot of energy out of me. Jason said, sis, come back to us, or come back to Sydney. How long is he going to be there? Jason, come to Manila. Someone said, who was your bestie from season nine? If you had one, I guess. Um, I, I, I pretty much quotes with all of them, except for, like, Charlie. Or, like, <clears throat> James. Or, like, people, like, just certain girls that we just really clicked and certain girls we didn't. It was nothing personal. It just happened.
Someone said, who's your favorite Sailor Moon character? Oh, Sailor Mars. I love for Sailor Mars and Sailor Pluto. I've really thoroughly enjoyed everywhere I've been. I've never, like, been like, oh, bitch, I don't like this place. It's hot as fuck, thank God. Ooh. I can't wait. Someone said, what is your favorite fast food item? Bitch, in this side of the world, they got chicken Big Macs. I don't understand why they don't have chicken Big Macs in, in the United States. This is a good question. Which drag race meme are you most tired of? I'm so tired of the you're perfect, you're beautiful, you look like Linda Evangelista thing. What? You said mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Someone says, is uh, Christy your favorite tour manager? I With, think it was her. Was it Christy? Yeah. Christy's probably like, I hope you can put that rest of that mug on in 20 minutes. Tell Ryan X Dugan your boyfriend's voice is draining to suck my fucking dick. What did he say? Your boyfriend's voice is draining. Then get off the live, bitch. Your fucking face is draining. Oh my god. See, now the girls just want to get crazy today. Ellie said, where's Dahlia? Oh, that's an automatic block. <laughs> Jiggly asks, what's your biggest drag pet peeve? Uh, my biggest drag pet peeve, like that other drag queens do, or that, that people do while I'm in drag. My biggest drag pet peeve when I'm in drag is when people are too touchy feely. Like, let me tell you, the only thing that I want in my face when I'm in drag is a dick. I don't want your hands in my face. I don't want your hands on my hair. I don't want anything near me. People just get too touchy. And from other drag queens. I hate it when other drag queens are really cold and unwelcoming. Because I'm, I'm a very friendly person. So, <clears throat> I'll always walk into the gig, like, really like, yes, what's up? Da, 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 da. <clears throat> and this is sometimes some girls be giving it fierce. They just be like, mm. I'm like, oh, okay, you too good? Work. And I don't think it's like a new school, old school thing. It's been... Hmm. I just think if you a bitch, you a bitch. Someone said our house is okay if we have meet and greet. Let me tell you, I love hugs, but always hug under. You always want to hug my waist. Now I'm wearing a little corset so you can put your hands around me. Don't hug me around my neck. <clears throat> Don't. Do I remember on last time when Aja made out with that guy on stage? Bitch, I made out with a lot of guys on stage. That used to be part of my, my performance. Y'all be acting brand new because I'm in a relationship now. I don't have one at the moment. I feel like I need to watch more anime. Bitch, I'm looking kunti kunti. What's up? Y'all couldn't tell me shit. I look like a fucking fine fresh feminist out to 11.
Bam. Someone said, what's your favorite candle scent? My favorite candle scent is... Do you know? Lavender. There you go. Lavender. If you didn't know that, I was going to break up with you on the spot. <laughs> Have fun getting home. Someone said, do you think bio drag queens are real drag queens? Go off. Um, I, what the hell is a real drag queen? Anybody who does drag is a drag queen. There's no such thing as a real drag queen. I fucking know. Now, there's such thing as cheap queens. That's a different story. Doesn't mean they're not real. They're still real drag queens. They're just cheap as fuck. Jiggly is carrying. She said, if you could punch one of your drag race sisters in the face, who would it be? Um, a girl I punch a lot of them in the face. I don't give a fuck. I don't resort to violence no more because I'm a newfound woman. I'm a Christian for fish. Not Christian for I'm Christian for attention fish. There we go. So, but I have found the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just kidding. I didn't find shit. I'll still beat a bitch ass. Um, nobody in particular. I don't know. There, there, there's been some girls who, who act mad hard. And I'm just like, bitch. Like. If I storm you right now, you'll be so fucking mad, so. But then I realized, you know what? That's when you got to turn on the I'm better than this. I'm educated. And I don't need to resort to violence to storm the girls. Tell Gomez Legendary that if she doesn't like your gauges, she can get off your live. Babe, stop being rude. But it's true. Someone wants to know what song or what perfume do you wear in her or out? Perfume? I think I'm going to heavily blush today, like a really heavy pink blush. Should I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling it today. Uh, I wear Alien or Angel by Terry Mugler when I'm in drag. Hmm. Ooh, this is a history question. Aja, have you had any other drag names? Wait, what's that one? Aja Injection? We're just gonna skip that question, because then they're gonna start Googling shit. I'm gagged. That was a big question back in the day. That is definitely a conceptual question. Someone said, what queen would you be scared to have to lip sync for your life against? <clears throat> Girl, I ain't scared of nobody. I don't give a fuck about lip syncing. People be like, oh, lip sync was it? No, no, I'm not a lip sync queen. I'm just a dumb bitch. If I could do something in my drag career for the rest of my life, it would just be talk shit, have a radio show, or like host a TV show, or just have cameras follow me while I just act a fucking fool. I just want to be a reality TV fish. But also, like, paid to be stupid fish. Someone said, what's your favorite part of doing your makeup? My favorite part of doing my makeup is when it's done and I know I can actually go. Sometimes I'd be like, girl, is this ever going to be done? Fake up, fake, oh, favorite makeup brand specific parts. Um, it really depends. I'll say this. My favorite highlighters I use Anastasia and I also use uh, Stardust from, uh, from Makeup Forever to go over it. Um, uh, Cause I love the finish. Uh, for shadows, I love Sugar Pill. Duh. Uh, what? Someone says, "What does your boyfriend do in life other than enjoying your success?" Uh, my boyfriend is my assistant as well. I'm 
still trying to figure that out at Pattern Viva. I'm on a quest, you know. There's a lot. With a catchphrase, you know what I mean? Someone said, What is your favorite wig and grace style? If you have one. Ma, that's such a stupid question. Word. You know when teachers tell you no question is over stupid? Oh, bitch, they lied. Also, you know when your parents, when you're young, your parents tell you, like, oh, you're the most beautiful girl in the world? Bitch, they lied to you about that, too, because, <laughs> bitch, I am. Kidding. Someone said, what's the worst part of drag? The worst part of drag is, um... I honestly think the worst part of drag is everyone thinking that you need drag race to succeed. And the worst part of drag is also that nowadays everything is so fucking like. It's like everybody's so offended by everything in drag. And everything is all about like being pretty and being this. Like, you know, nobody's paying attention to the truly like funny bitches anymore. It's like camp is just dying out. And I think that people need to realize that camp is important. I'm about to put lashes on after I. Yeah, you are naked. Have you ever thought about slapping someone in the face with your fish? Bitch, yes, I would love to slap somebody with a fucking fish. Someone said, what's your favorite movie? I don't really have a favorite movie. I would love to say yes, but at this point, I, I kind of don't. This question keeps, get, keeps getting brought up, and I keep skipping it for whatever reason. Um, what's your favorite tattoo? That I have? Mm-hmm. Um, My favorite tattoo? I love all my tattoos pretty equally. They all represent something to me. Absolutely. Well, yeah. If we weren't going anywhere. Before the gig only, obviously. I don't know. <clears throat> My life really hasn't changed besides the money. I'm really just the same person I've always been. I'm not, I'm somebody who's like, I don't let this experience change me. I'm still the same person that I've always been. Like, so, I don't think that, I don't think, I, like, I, either way, like, I'd be happy. Who's your favorite reality television star? My favorite reality television star is, uh, I have a lot. I love reality TV. I like old reality TV because I haven't really watched television recently. My video is about to end, y'all. I'll restart it. Hopefully. I'm trying to put this glitter on. So 
Someone said, what job would you work if you weren't a drag queen? I'd probably be a lawyer or a porn star. Very smart. <laughs> a lawyer or a porn star. Someone asked, did you touch the fashion? Did you take the plug from here? Mm-hmm. Why? My phone was literally at 1%. If you wanted me to read questions, I was just trying to... What are you saying? What? Um, are you back on? Happening where people kept saying AO soup. AO soup, what? I don't know what that's meant. Not the AO soup. AO chowder. Someone said, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I see myself with an ongoing successful career. In the entertainment industry, whether it be drag or not, um, I see myself going down a good road. I just want to be a rapper. Someone said, How do you feel about all the garden bros? I love Olive Garden breadsticks. They may have fucking salty and they give me high blood pressure. But bitch, they taste good. Someone said, who's the most attractive queen you've worked with on or off of Drag Race? Me. Alright, I don't know. I've never really found other, like, any of the other Drag Race girls that I've worked with to be, like, I guess, like, oh my god, like, I want to fuck you attractive. So, sorry. I don't like hot Cheetos, but for some reason, somebody t- g- gave me a story that they were like, oh my god, you love hot Cheetos. And there's also, like, uh, there's also, like, an account, like, a, an Aja stand account called Aja's Hot Cheetos, and I appreciate it, but I also am like, work fish, um, I hope you know I've never eaten hot Cheetos in my life. Season 10, honestly. It's kind of hard for me to tell. Who asked, McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Y'all, I love fast food. I have a problem. Oh, I didn't mean that. Also, is it how is working with T.S. Madison? I love T.S. She's the best. I live for her. She's so real. She's so genuine. She's very like, what you see is what you get. I feel like she's really insightful. Yeah, T.S. is smart. 
She carries herself as someone who has dealt with the great pressures of life and is still walking with her head up. Dogs. Someone said, <laughs> you'll love this. If you were a biological woman, what would your pussy taste like? I am a biological woman, and my pussy tastes like watermelon lollipops. I was going to say something really inappropriate. <laughs> like, the hardest part about drag is your dad in my mouth. Sure. Someone said if you were getting a co host for. It's 8.55. I know. Someone said if you were having a co host. I'm going to have to get dressed over there. Someone said if you want to have a co-host for Drag Race, or for a Wild Presents show, who would it be? Um, I think I would do well with anybody who is just funny. face is done and it's not clearly don't even have a lip on Like we're all we're ready to go. I'm like, oh. They're all ready. Well, no. Uh, the promoter is picking us up or something. So I'm gonna stop reading the live since we have to. Yeah. I'll see y'all. I gotta go. See you.